All right, I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramesha Shade. You know what time it is. Time to see what is happening out there in the tropics. We've made it to a Friday and we've made it through another day of hurricane season where we haven't been hit. Let's keep this trend going. Hopefully we can get through the rest of September, October and November without any of those tropical storms or hurricanes heading our way. However, we will have some influences from some tropical systems though as we go into this weekend. More specifically, Lorena, of course, a few days ago it was a hurricane lashing the Baja California Peninsula with very heavy rain, big time flooding and a lot of wind. Yesterday it weakened to a tropical storm and then over the last 24 hours it has just really fallen apart, losing all of its tropical characteristics just offshore of the Baja Peninsula. So it's no longer a tropical system. However, all of that moisture is still hanging in that area and some of that will get pushed into the southwestern U.S. and into parts of Texas. So here is the last advisory that was issued by the National Hurricane Center on post-tropical cyclone Lorena. It was actually at 4 a.m. early this morning with 35 mile per hour winds at that time, but notice it will continue to weaken and it is just going to kind of fizzle out over the eastern Pacific Ocean. As it weakens, though, like I said, some of that moisture will get picked up as a front drops in from the north. So we've got the front and we've got the tropical moisture that will kind of enhance that flood threat from parts of Arizona over to New Mexico and gradually Saturday into Sunday into portions of the Lone Star State in Texas. So if you're going to be hanging out in the Austin, San Antonio areas, Kerrville, Houston, there will be an elevated flood risk for this weekend. I think the higher flood risk will be central and south Texas, but even in southeast Texas, we could have a few downpours that could lead to a few flooded streets. Saturday, mainly the heavy rain threat and flood threat is going to be over towards Phoenix to El Paso. But as we go into Sunday, that tropical moisture will be spreading farther east. And that means parts of Houston could get in on some of that. And a big chunk of the southeastern U.S. could be dealing with on again, off again, heavy rain. So factor that into your weekend plans if you're heading in any of those areas. So look for that elevated flood risk throughout much of the state for Sunday. For today, flood threat will remain on the low side, but if you're going to be in Phoenix, Tucson, Albuquerque, it's a one out of four marginal risk. Still a low flood risk for Saturday for some of the same spots over towards Arizona and New Mexico. But then Sunday, we do have that flood risk stretching into the Houston area. So of course, Lorena was a hurricane in the eastern Pacific. Let's hop over to the Atlantic Basin. Of course, that includes the Caribbean, the Gulf, and the Atlantic Ocean. And so far this season, we've already had six named storms, one hurricane, one major hurricane. Of course, that was Aaron. Last system was Fernand, and now we're waiting to see if we will get Gabrielle in the next two to seven days. There's still a high chance that we will, although this tropical wave is not looking healthy at all at this point. It's run into some drier air and it's really kind of hard to even pick it out on our satellite. It looked a lot more impressive yesterday, but it is still surviving out there in the eastern Atlantic, so we'll keep tracking it and we'll keep watching it. Chance for development over the next week was up to 90% as of last night. It's dropped to 70%, but that's still a high chance that we could have a tropical depression or a tropical storm over the next week. So this is still Invest 91L. It's disorganized this afternoon. Dry air limiting that development likely for the next few days. Only a 40% chance for development through the next 48 hours. But after that, it will move into a more favorable environment likely to become a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next week. And guess what? It will likely head towards the Lesser Antilles by the middle of next week. Our GFS future cast shows just that not looking as impressive as it did yesterday, but you can still see a weaker system here approaching those eastern Caribbean islands by Tuesday evening. Notice by Wednesday afternoon and evening, it's rolling right over the Lesser Antilles, some heavy downpours potentially up around parts of Puerto Rico, Haiti, Dominican Republic. So even though this is likely not going to be a huge hurricane or even a strong tropical storm, there will still be some impacts to some of those Caribbean islands by the middle and end of next week. I want to show you the spaghetti model plots. These are several different computer models showing 
what they think is going to happen with Invest 91L, which could become Tropical Storm Gabrielle. And notice it's a westward track, and then it kind of shifts to the northwest as we go through the next several days. So it looks like the Lesser Antilles could get hit, maybe Puerto Rico, Hispaniola, and we'll have to wait and see if it makes it up towards the Bahamas. But it likely will start to make more of a turn to the northwest and north. If it remains very weak, it could stay farther west, but a stronger system would likely get picked up by that Bermuda high. So we've still got several days to watch this, several days before it would have any impact on us here in the Houston area. But of course, we are keeping a close eye on things because we're just a few days away, really, from the peak of hurricane season, which is September 10th. So even though things are quiet, remain on guard, stay alert, make sure you're reviewing your hurricane emergency gear kit, make sure you have the insurance you need, the gear you need, just in case something pops up and messes with us here in Texas.